Welcome to the return of the Apple IIc. This is episode three, A Look Inside. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking apart the Apple IIc to see what its components are. So we'll start first by taking off the case. So first we'll unscrew it and then we'll just pop it off. Here we go. And you can see here we have the inside of the Apple IIc. We have a power supply here on the upper left, and right next to it is the floppy drive. So let's continue taking it apart. We'll take the keyboard and the uh, disk drive out, and then we'll see the main uh, motherboard. Here is what the main logic board of the Apple IIc looks like. Before we look at the individual components, we'll start by looking at this diagram showing the locations of the most important integrated circuits in the Apple IIc. Going clockwise from the top, we have the character generator ROM, the auxiliary RAM, the main RAM, the memory management unit, the CPU, which is a 65C02 microprocessor, the firmware ROM, the keyboard ROM, the input-output unit, the general logic unit, the timing generator, and the integrated WAS machine. Let's take a closer look at these components. The 65C02 microprocessor. The CPU on the Apple IIc is the 65C02 microprocessor. The 65C02 is a CMOS version of the 6502, which is an 8-bit microprocessor with a 16-bit address bus. It runs at 1.023 MHz and performs up to 500,000 8-bit operations per second. The Random Access Memory The Apple IIc has 128 kilobytes of RAM divided into the main RAM, which are the lower 8 memory chips in this photo, and the auxiliary RAM, which are the upper 8 memory chips in this photo. We next have the read-only memory chips, including this one, the keyboard ROM. Here is the character generator ROM, which converts display information to a form that display devices can use. Here is the firmware ROM, which contains the monitor, the AppleSoft Basic interpreter, enhanced video firmware, and other input-output firmware. Next up are the five large integrated circuits that were custom made for the Apple IIc. This is the memory management unit, which contains most of the logic that controls memory addressing in the Apple IIc. The input-output unit contains most of the logic that controls the built-in input and output features of the Apple IIc. The timing generator generates all the system and I.O. clock and timing signals from a 14.318 MHz oscillator. The general logic unit is a single chip version of the miscellaneous logic required for the system. It provides all RAM read-write timing, double high resolution enable and disable, soft switch status registers, and write command registers. It also provides IOU control for mouse interrupts and double high-resolution soft switches. And finally, the integrated WAS machine, named after Steve Wozniak, which is a single-chip version of the Apple Disk II controller card. Here is another look at the diagram showing the locations of these integrated circuits in the Apple IIc. Thank you for watching episode 3 of The Return of the Apple IIc. If you like this video, please consider subscribing.